Bangarang are going to Kingston, the school boy, them and mash up the school them. Listening to What's What Jamaica News TV, where we bring you the latest news. If you're new here and have not yet subscribed, kindly do so now. And now for the news. Boy, even in a school, the school boy, them are going with things, man. Administrators, teachers and parents of lower school students at a corporate era co-ed high school are on alert this morning as a simmering dispute involves upper school boys appears ready to explode. Come on, man. This is school. Kids go to learn. The school is in Kingston 20 based. And request from people who are working with the popo to prevent the dispute from escalating. So they don't want nobody to know where the school is because they are nervous about it. Some boys in 10th and 11th grade have formed gangs in the school, which are mainly linked to the neighboring communities where they live. And they are coming to school armed. Can you imagine? Armed with knives, ice picks, choppers, and based on the report, GUNS also. The Popo have been made aware of the dispute and started searching the upper school students. But they found out that they were giving their family members and neighbors in the lower school the weapons to carry in. So guess what them do? So then, then the, the popo then start search everybody now, including the girls who are putting the weapons in some strange places and their bodies to carry them. So we don't have to say any more. You know where them are carry the guns them now. Yes, them are pat them all over them body and I carry them in there. The girls them. In a recent incident, two groups of boys Face off outside the school gate. And guess what one do? Him pull him thing. Which he pointed at his rival. Who fled with patrons at a nearby plaza. People were just looking and I couldn't do nothing. And according to the popo. Them said them have heard his stories. But they are not sure that the boys who pulled the G.U.N. is a student at the school because what they found is that their friends who do not attend the school have been dressing in uniforms my gosh have been dressing in uniforms and going onto the compound can you imagine that they don't go to the school then don't bother go to school. These are young boys too. Then don't bother go to school. They hang out and do them ranks. And when they want to do it on the school compound, the student them lend them them uniform. Right now, what the principal has done is to tell the security guards that any students coming on the compound must show an ID. As they are not aware that these Cool boy gangsters are being helped by their friends. Just last Wednesday, the school's administrator requested help from the Pow Pow to conduct a search of the compound and some students. But they not tell nobody where they find yet because they're tight lipped out of fear. The principal is well aware of the dispute and every day he spends hours looking at the camera and patrolling the corridors in an effort to prevent this from escalating. When he should have been doing his job, he must sit there as a principal watching camera. And he kind of understand its situation because he grew up in an inner city community. So he knows what is happening? And he has been going into the communities where the boys are from, from a, in an effort to stop it at the head of the source. So he's not really that fearful because he grew up in a them type of era. Eh? But anyway, 
One teacher say, all of us here are afraid as these boys in the gangs don't take any talk from teacher or anybody. And we are worried about what next will happen. And you can't blame them. We heard reports that they are using their weapons to slap each other. To print the marker's name and the blade in their face. Oh my gosh. But luckily, it has not passed that yet. So they must slap them, put markers on it. You know, maybe make it sharp. And when they slap them in their face, mark them with the markers. The, the source who said that pointed out that boys in grades 7 to 9 who were well behaved and disciplined are now involved in the schoolyard gangs. Because guess what? They must be involved in it to protect themselves. They well behaved and them probably come from good homes. But what do you expect? Because if them in that environment, them have to protect themselves. And the source say this is just an explosion waiting to happen. It needs the intervention of the Minister of Education and the Pow Pow right now. Even when you call the PTA Association meeting, the parents of these problem boys don't attend the few. And the few that go, they don't accept so them picnic bad, or they don't accept so them picnic them in a gang. Since the start of the year, at least two clashes involving students and school compound. And this ending tragedy. Violent confrontations between students have escalated since the resumption of face-to-face -face classes this year. Following two years of online instruction due to the COVID virus. It's happening it just a happening and I touch all of the school them at Jamaica. In March, 16 year old Kamal Hall was fatally STABBED by a fellow student of William Nibs High School in Trelawney. And late last month, 16 year old Michonne Campbell was fatally STABBED at Kingston Tech High School in downtown Kingston, allegedly by a 17-year-old schoolmate who is now facing MURDER charge. So even in the good in the school them, because Kingston Tech one time used to be like an uppity school. The kids them taking weapons to school. The teachers are not safe and the kids them from the good school are not safe because if you in there and you play goody two shoe, you're not safe. So that's why the good one them have to join the gang now. And I saw it start. Them started from inner school. So can you imagine if they started from inner school? What is going to happen when them graduate? Them need to go into the school. The Minister of Education. That, that is their job. To figure out. How to help these children. Some of them can't be helped anymore. Because some of them. It get out of hand. But the ones that they can help. They need to figure out a way. How can I help these children. Not to get involved in gangs. Guys make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and share my YouTube video.